right, so we found a big winner in Electronium. So we wanted to talk a little bit about uh, their new update. It's coming May 30th, so the end of the month here. And they've got quite a few new features, you know, coming out. So it's going to be a big update. It looks like the, the community is really rallying around it, supporting it. So there, there's a little bit of concern that, that it's a fork, which, you know, in reality it, it is. But as long as you have the support of the community, then, you know, it won't result in two, new, two currencies um, or any conflict like that. So no need to worry. But to get into the updates, um, the first thing that they have is kind of their distancing from Monero. So Monero is, uh, in essence, a privacy coin. And if, if you don't know, Electronium is a fork from Monero. So what that means is they took Monero's code base and they've modified it you know, to become their own. So you know, through, through this process, uh, as Monero kind of updates and adds features, uh, they can basically easily take, take their new features in uh, and, and add them to the blockchain as needed. But uh, Monero and Electronium have, have two different goals. Uh, Monero being a full, fully private you know, coin, uh, so they want to be on the, the latest, greatest technology in terms of privacy. And Electronium is a micropayments coin, so they want the fastest payments that they can get. So these, these privacy features slow down the network a little bit, and uh, they don't need them all. So, so what they're going to do is they're going to they're gonna start removing some of them that they don't need. They're not going to take the, the newest updates from Monero. And uh, we're going to see them kind of slim down their code a little bit, which, which should make things a little bit faster. Um, their, their other big you know, feature that they have coming out is actually a transaction fee update. So what used to be, I believe, 0 0.01 ETN is now being increased to 0 0.1 ETN. And this is because there was a bad actor out there in the system. They were creating these bad transactions that basically did nothing. And they were flooding the blockchain with these transactions. So what was happening was these blocks that were being mined were actually being filled with these bad transactions. And then the, the good actors, the people who were actually trying to transfer their coins, whether it be between you know, two individual parties, or maybe they were transferring their coins between uh, two wallets that they have, maybe their, their uh, paper wallet and the exchange, they couldn't do it because the blocks were filling up with, with these bad transactions and they couldn't get the good ones in. So by increasing this ETN fee, it makes that attack a lot costlier and hopefully hopefully uh, thwarts it altogether. So we'll see kind of in the upcoming days and weeks as the update rolls out, if, if this stifles that attack or not, uh, but we'll see as time goes on. But these aren't the only features. The biggest ones are still yet to be talked about. Electronium has been really focused on miners since the beginning, and they want to do a few things to continue to uh, have the trust of their mining community and build on that. The first being they want to go anti-ASIC. So this update will bring that, and it's going to be huge because ASIC miners have blown the network caching speed out of control for Electronium over the last couple months here. Uh, it's gone up almost 10 times since we started watching it in December. So it's going to be nice to see some of that come back down. People will have better rewards, and you won't have this current situation where it's almost not profitable to be mining it because of electricity costs. The second thing is that they are going to change the way that they handle uh, block rewards. So every two minutes, instead of every minute, they're going to be doing their block rewards So when people get paid out for mining the blocks of uh, Electronium. Uh, but they're going to increase the reward by twice as much. So it's not going to have any operational changes for people who are doing this, um, but it's just going to help run with some of those other updates and keep things running smoothly. And the third thing is that they're going to reduce the difficulty window um, when people are mining. And this is going to essentially just help people who are GPU, CPU mining to can get benefits from continuous mining. So as they're mining 24 hours, you know, every day, they're going to get better rewards, better benefits um, from being consistent miners versus um, rented hashing power, where someone might come in and just in a short window of time, throw a bunch of hashing power at Electronium to get some rewards. They're not going to take away from what 
um, people who are consistently mining are going to get. So it just helps make sure things continue to flow smoothly. Um, we got a really, really big response from our first video on Electronium, so we wanted to keep you guys in the loop. Uh, all these pieces are great news because there was a lot of question on where they were going to go with this. And, you know, we're going to continue to look at it and see how it plays out. But, you know, keep in touch with us, check back for some more videos, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.